हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ यू थर्ड चैप्टर फाइबर टू फैब्रिक I hope you have done your homework, which I have given in the previous video. I have told you about some hard words to find out the word meanings. Okay, next heading is knitting. In knitting, a single yarn is used to make a cloth. or fabric if you have if you have observed someone knitting using knitting needles every time a new loop is created from the previous one the length increases knitting may be done by hand or by machine socks and many of the clothing items are made of knitted fabrics when compared with woven fabrics knitted fabrics are more stretchable i think you have seen some of the people weaving the sweater or the cap during the winter season these caps and sweaters can also be woven by hands as well as by machines but the knitted fabrics which are knitted by the hands these are more stretchable now look here sweater cap and many of the woolen clothes are woven by this method now sources of fibers there are two types of fibers found first is natural fibers and another is synthetic fibers so cotton jute silk wool these are called the natural fibers and rayon nylon polyester and acrylic these are the synthetic fibers now look here sources of fibers the fibers of some fabrics such as cotton jute silk and wool are obtained from parts and uh, animals these are called natural fabrics cotton and jute are obtained from plants silk is obtained from the cocoons of silk worm moth <clears throat> wool is obtained by shearing fleece from sheep or goat the hairs of uh, sheep or goat uh, is cut and uh, then it is made into wool and then fiber to fabric it is also obtained from the hair of rabbits foxes mink yak and camels in addition scientists have also made fibers in the laboratory some of the fibers are freely found in the nature those are those we use some of the some of the fibers are found by the plant sources and some of the fibers are found uh, get from the animal sources so silk and uh, wool are the animal fibers and uh, these cotton and jute are the natural uh, plant fibers in synthetic fibers there are some synthetic fibers are given which is a which are made uh, in the laboratory by the scientist which we call artificial or synthetic fibers synthetic fibers 
are obtained from crude oil crude oil you can say it as petroleum petroleum is called the crude oil what is processed in chemical substances and changed to fiber rayon polyester nylon and acrylic are the examples of synthetic fibers let us briefly understand about natural and synthetic fibers <clears throat> first are natural fibers natural fibers are broadly classified into plant fibers and animal fibers plant fibers are very thin threads they are spun into thicker threads which are then made into cloth cotton and jute are the good examples of plant fibers cotton and jute are the good examples of plant fibers denim is used to make jeans as you know you use jeans pants and uh, clothes jeans clothes to wear so jeans is made from the denim and denim is made from cotton which is made from cotton denim fiber is made from the cotton now cotton look here cotton is the world's most popular natural fiber as all the people in the world use this fiber so it is the most popular fiber it is considered as the undisputed king of the global textile industry means it is very popular cotton is a soft fiber that is obtained from the seeds seed pods of the cotton ball as you can see in the figure here you can see the cotton balls these are the seed pods which are changes into cotton balls and uh, these are plucked by the farmers these are the cotton balls <laughs> cotton balls burst after maturing when the cotton balls mature it burst and uh, you can see the cotton fiber one can see the seed covered with cotton fibers fibers are the sep are then separated from the seeds by the process of combing this process is called ginning of cloth means separating of you can see here cotton obtained from seed pods of cotton plant grown in black soil and warm climate and cotton balls fruits or seeds seed pods of cotton means you can say that fruits or seed pods of a cotton is called cotton balls now two process are here combing separation of cotton from seed is called combing and separation of cotton fibers is called ginning so look here it was traditionally done by hands nowadays machines are 
used for ginning here you can see the cotton balls this is the process of ginning you can see the figure the process of ginning this is the raw cotton and the ginned cotton and the fibers are spun using spinning machines to form cotton yarn here the cotton yarns are making in these machines now cotton fibers are very thin and small so they cannot be made into a fabric directly we cannot make the fabric with the uh, cotton balls so we have to perform some processes they are first converted into yarns first we made fibers then yarns which are longer thicker and stronger the yarn is woven into a fabric then yarn are spun into fabric the advantages of cotton clothes are that they are soft absorb sweat and also let air in that's why the people use cotton clothes when the sweat evaporates it makes the body cool cotton clothes are therefore comfortable to wear especially in hot and humid weather that's why we wear cotton clothes in summer season now look uses of cotton here are two pillows pillows filled with the ginned cotton and inside the pillows the ginned cotton is filled here yeah? cotton fibers are used for manufacturing cloth material example textile of fabrics the fibers of cotton are also mixed with the other types of fibers for making textile of different varieties as you can say terricot the terrilene and cotton is mixed in terricot ginned cotton is used for filling mattresses pillows quilts and cushions the seeds of cotton are used for making cotton seed oil which is edible oil we can eat this oil cotton seed oil and the oil is used for making vegetable ghee soap etc so the uses of cotton cloth material is used in cloth material in mattresses pillows cold quilts cushions and uh, the cotton seed oil is used as a edible oil and used in making vegetable ghee and soap now we will see this activity let's perform aim to identify the cotton fiber the materials required for this activity is some cotton fabric we use some cotton fabric and the method is take some cotton wool in one hand as shown in the figure you can see this figure making yarn from cotton so take some cotton wool in one hand pinch some cotton between the thumb and four finger of the other hand as this man is doing with the fingers now gently start pulling the pulling out the cotton while continuously twisting the fibers after some time you will see that the yarn is formed 
so the students you can perform this activity at home so take the screenshot of this portion and perform this activity at home now we will see some uh, hard words okay underline the hard words knitting previous created compared stretchable sources of natural fibers cocoons moth shearing fleece laboratory artificial synthetic fibers crude oil processed broadly classified is one denim popular considered undisputed global textile industry seed pods climate planted matures cotton balls burst combing separated gaining traditionally <clears throat> converted when advantages sweat comfortable especially handmade 
this manufacturing varieties gained fields cotton seed oil edible identify pinch four finger continuously gently twisting Okay, student, take the screenshot of this portion for reading and writing the meaning of these hard words. Now see this portion. Take the screenshot. Okay students, write the meaning of these hard words, take the screenshot, read the chapter and do the activity. Now we will meet in the next video, third part of this chapter, till then good day.